in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to make a model of a simple black box system using the Cogintech Digital Twin Builder. In this particular tutorial, I will be using the example of a cow. This model will, of course, be oversimplified and will work on the assumption that there is a linear dependency between the inputs, for example, the food and water consumption, on the output, which in this case is milk production of the cow. Here, I'm simply aiming to demonstrate how this software can then be adapted to model your specific technological process and therefore allow you to see the impacts of altering certain factors on process effectiveness. Firstly, if you have not done so already, you must make an account. To do this, click on the Digital Twin Builder sign up at the top right hand corner of the website. This will take you to the registration menu. Here you can fill in your details. I already have an account, so I will log in. After the login page, we arrive at the main menu where there's a button to create a new project and a list of projects that have been recently used. We want to create a new project, so I will press the button and name my project cow slash black box system. On the left, we see the library of object classes. Objects are made by simply dragging and dropping the chosen one with your mouse from the library to the main diagram. You can then move them by dragging the top left hand corner. On the right of the object, there's also a delete button. To make this model, I will suppose that we will have three main variable inputs, hay, water and heating, out of which hay and water will directly affect the outputs of this black box system. To start, therefore, I will add three objects with the class input. To alter the parameters of an object, simply double click on it for many of its characteristics to appear on the right side of the screen. We have the ID, its name, which we will rename hay, and its object class, which if necessary, we could change here. Object type, which is not fully activated, but in the future will be available to group objects together. There's also a possibility to add a description for the object, if required. Lower down, we see a description of the parameters defining our object. Each object has three main parameters, price, rate, and cost. To the right of these parameters, the highlighted ticks under the S column indicate that the parameters are visible under the object on the main screen, and so can be removed if necessary. Let's start by setting the price an arbitrary value of 10. For the rate, I will also set an arbitrary value of, say, 50. However, since we anticipate that this rate may change, we want to be able to vary it. To do so, we need to alter its control type from being a single value to a slider. We do so here. This slider itself has three main parameters, a minimal value, a maximum value, and the value of the step. We will say that it will vary from zero to 100 with a step of one. Now we can alter this rate quickly on the main diagram with the use of the slider. Let's close this window and open the window for costs. For this parameter, we want to create a formula that will calculate the product of the price of the hay and the rate at which the cow is consuming it. To do so, click on the F of X button, which will open up a formula dialog. Here we can choose the appropriate parameters to be part of our formula. I will choose the class input, the object hay, parameter price, and then click the add button. I will select the asterisk button on my keyboard and this time select the parameter rate and then add. We can now click OK and see that on the main diagram, the cost is given as the product of the price and the rate. I will now repeat this process with the other two variable inputs, water and heating, doing everything the same except selecting different arbitrary. OK, now we have our three variable inputs. We may also want to add some fixed inputs, such as the rent of the field or fixed medicine expenditures. So I will therefore add three more input objects to the main diagram. Double clicking on the first input, I will rename it medicine. This time we were only interested in the price of this input, so I can deselect the rate and cost from being visible. And since this price is fixed, I will simply add an arbitrary value of say 35. I will now do the same for the other two inputs. Now that we have created all of our inputs, we may want to add another object, which will summarize the expenditure of these inputs. I will therefore add an input output object, which I will rename total fixed costs. Deselect the price and rate, open up the cost window and the formula dialog where I will add the price of the medicine, summed with the price of the field,
added to the maintenance of the equipment. So this total value is now easily visible on our main diagram. To join objects together, click on the top right hand corner of say medicine, and then click on its associated object, in this case, total fixed costs. If necessary, it is possible to delete an unwanted arrow by simply using the delete key on your keyboard. Okay, I will now repeat this process. Now that we have all of our inputs and their summary information, we can move on to adding the process object, which will represent the milk production process in the cow itself. Let's add a process object. Attach the total variable costs and the total fixed costs. Double click, rename it cow. Since we are oversimplifying this model, let's suppose that the rate of milk production will be the sum of the feed and water rates. Let's open up the rate window and the formula dialog and then add in the rate of feed and the rate of water. Price and cost are not applicable here but I will rename the price parameter to ratio, which will determine the ratio in which the outputs are produced. So how much milk and how much manure. To do this, let's set an initial value of 0.8, change its control type to a slider, set the step as being 0.1 and the maximum as one. I will now create the two output objects showing you how I implemented the ratio. Opening the milk object, we see that the formula for the rate is simply the rate of the milk production multiplied by the ratio. And for the cost, it is the rate multiplied by the price. For the manure, the rate is simply the rate of milk production multiplied by one minus the ratio. And the cost formula is standard. Now that we have a full model of our black box process, it may be useful to create a board object that will contain some summary information such as our profit. To do so, I will drag the board object onto the main diagram and call it summary information. I will now proceed to create a gross income parameter, which simply will be the sum of the sales from the milk and the manure. For the costs, we will simply be inputting the sum of the total variable costs and the total fixed costs. And finally, I will change the rate to profit, which will be the cost subtracted by the income. We can now easily see a summary of the information presented in the process in this board object. And we are now finished. I hope this tutorial was useful in showing you how to make a model of a simple black box system using the software.